welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing this bold lip and kind of warm orangey colors on the eyes. Um, yeah, it's kind of like random coloring, but I really like the way that the orange looks with the dark like plum purple. So yeah, just kind of experimenting and doing something a little bit different today. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to learn how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Bye guys! Alright guys, so to start off this look, I'm going to go in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre just to get my lids primed and ready for shadow. I'm buffing this in using my Sigma uh, 3D Kabuki brush. It's one of the small ones, 3D Precision brush I believe it's called. So I'm just going to buff that in. I like to start off with the brush and then I go in with my finger just to make sure it's really well blended. And you're just going to do that on both lids. And then once you have that all blended out, we're going to go in with any kind of powder. Um, I'm going in with uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and we're going to set that base just to make sure that when you put the eyeshadows on it goes on smoothly. And then we're going to go in with the color Chickadee from Makeup Geek and we're going to work that into the crease, going in windshield wiper motions, really blending that out and making sure the color is nicely diffused. And we're going to do that on both lids. And then once you're done buffing that color out, we're going to go in with the shade uh, Beaches and Cream, again by Makeup Geek, and we're going to make sure that that color chickadee is nicely blended out. There's no harsh lines. We're making it so that there's an easy transition when you put in the darker colors. I feel like I'm obsessed with orange eyeshadow. I always am going in with some sort of shade of orange. Okay, now we're gonna take our Morphe uh, M441 brush and I'm using the color Jam from the Venus 2 palette by Lime Crime. And this, this is going to look really sloppy at first. I'm just going in and kind of getting this color all in the crease, more directly in the crease and not in the upper crease. And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush and just buff that out. This look is going to take a lot of blending and you really want to take your time with the blending to make sure that it's not just a big blob of orange on your eye. And then we're going to take the Morphe uh, M443 brush and really work that into the crease, making the color a little bit more intense. And we're gonna do that on the inner and outer corner. And then we're gonna go in with Chickadee, again from Makeup Geek and our Sigma E40 brush, and we're gonna buff that out and really make sure that all those colors blend well together and there's no harsh lines. I'm really good at this voiceover stuff. And then we're going in with the medium sweeper brush from Sigma and we're taking the color Mud, which is also from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. And we're going to work that in the inner and outer corner. It doesn't have to be perfect when you first apply it. It's going to look a little bit messy, but we're going to go back in and buff that out later. So once we have the color placed where we want it, we're going to go in with the Morphe M443 brush and whatever residual product is left on that brush, just use that to buff out that color mud and make it look a little less harsh. Like I said, this look definitely requires a lot of blending. It might look quick on video, but that's because I'm, you know, clipping it and fast forwarding it, but definitely take your time and make sure this is all buffed out. Um, here I'm going in with the Morphe M441 brush and I'm taking a little bit more of that color jam and blending that out and then going in with my Sigma E40 brush with no additional product on the brush. I'm just going to buff that out. So now we're going back in with that shade Mud from the Venus 2 palette and we're using that on the Sigma Medium Sweeper brush and we're just intensifying the inner and outer corner just because we lost some of that pigmentation when we were blending and then taking the Morphe M443 brush we're going to mix the color Jam and Mud and just blend that out. 
And then we're gonna take the shade in the spotlight, and this is also from Makeup Geek. We're gonna just press that into the center of the lid and diffuse it a little bit into the inner and outer corner just so there's no harsh lines. This is a gorgeous color and it's probably my favorite one out of the foiled shadows from Makeup Geek. So once you have that place where you like it, we're gonna go in with the Morphe M443 brush and we're just gonna take whatever leftover products on the brush and just kind of blend those two colors together. And then we're going in with the M441 brush from Morphe and we're just gonna buff everything out. And then on the lower lash line, we're gonna take the shade Mud from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and I'm using my M432 brush to do that. And then I'm gonna take that medium sweeper brush and use the color Jam and just diffuse that color a little bit so it's not harsh. And then once you have that color diffused the way you like it and it's all blended, um, I'm gonna go in with any, it doesn't matter what brush it is, any sort of fluffy blending brush with no product on it and just really blend all that out. And then I'm going in with the Morphe M443 brush, whatever products on there, again, just buffing it out. And then I'm taking the color White Lies from Makeup Geek, and I'm just putting that in the inner tear duct area. And then once we've applied that, we're gonna go in with the NYX, uh, I can't remember what this is called. Um, oh, it's the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and it's in the shade Crystal Hip. And I'm just placing some of that in the center just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. Um, I love this stuff. I will recommend that you keep your eyes kind of closed when you apply it so it doesn't get all up in your crease. And then we're gonna go in with some mascara just to prep our lashes um, for falsies. So just a thin coat really doesn't, you don't need to you know, go full board with the mascara. It doesn't really matter because we're just gonna cover it up with the falsies. And then these are the Ardell uh, Double Up 207s. Um, these are really pretty style. Um, I love them a lot. I, my favorite is the Double Up 206, but I cannot find them anywhere. They're out of stock everywhere. I've literally called every store. It's just ridiculous. So um, anyways, these ones, these ones will do. They're really pretty too. And then we're gonna coat the bottom lashes with some mascara and kind of blend um, my natural lashes to my false lashes and just make sure that everything looks a little more natural. And then once we're done applying our mascara, we're gonna go in with one of the full spectrum eyeliners from Makeup Geek and this is the shade Nude. I love this for the uh, waterline. It really brightens up the eyes. Then I just went in and put a little concealer and powder on my lips to prep them uh, for our lipstick. And we're gonna use the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Raven. This is one of their new shades. It's so pretty, it's super dark. It's definitely not for anybody or everybody. I mean, it could be, but you gotta be, you gotta be a little more daring. This is definitely not your typical like everyday lip, but I love this color. It's really rich. It's like a gorgeous like plum color. It's super opaque really easy to apply and it's not heavy at all. I don't know if they changed their formula on the Lime Crime Velveteens, but they're honestly so amazing. All right guys, and that wraps up this makeup tutorial. Uh, I hope that you guys learned something today from this video. Uh, let me know what kind of makeup looks you guys wanna see next. Um, if you wanna see something more springtime or my sister was saying maybe doing like some wedding appropriate makeup like what to wear to a wedding because um, I know there's a lot of weddings in the summer and stuff or uh, proms coming up for a lot of people or graduation so let me know what kind of looks you guys want to see or what other kind of videos you guys want me to film next and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video uh, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah I'll see you guys soon bye